हे गाइज दिस इज हनूर फ्रॉम जॉर्ज स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी अमेरिका जो बचपन से हॉस्टल लाइफ देखना चाहता था सो सिंस माई आई टी जे प्रिपरेशन आवर टीचर्स टोल्डर्स की हॉस्टल लाइफ इज गोइंग टू बी दी बेस्ट टाइम ऑफ योर लाइफ सो हेयर आई एम लिविंग हॉस्टल लाइफ सिंस द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग कंपेरिजन ऑफ हॉस्टल लाइफ इन इंडिया वर्सेज हॉस्टल लाइफ इन अमेरिका सो लेट्स गेट स्टार इट number one dorm size so you will think that apartments or rooms in america are bigger as compared to in india but you are wrong kyunki mai bhi bahut chote chote rooms aur apartments pe reh chuka hu yahan pe so when i came to us i lived on campus that was the housing owned by the university and in the next two years i lived in private housing but that was also student housing so it is like hostel in the last few years and it was pretty fun but room size has been pretty small so for the first year it was pretty small and it was a loft style apartment matlab one bed here one bed on the top and it was not that convenient because agar main late ke padhna chahta hu if i want to study while lying on the bed then it was inconvenient because i i can have to climb and then study so it was it wasn't that comfortable but as i have moved here i have my bed here and uh matlab it it's little bit more comfortable so i'm enjoying this apartment more than that actual on campus housing and india may be same hi hota hai so matlab depending on their capacity and depending on the budget they can put in three half beds in one long room or one bed two bed matlab triple shared ho sakte hain double shared single shared it all depends on the university number 2 apartment cost so here on campus ho ya off campus housing ho both apartments are very very expensive as compared to in india because india mein like the apartments could be even cheap in some iits the monthly costs are like 5000 rupees per month to 10000 rupees per month and sometimes food the mess ka khana mess food is also included in that but for us it is not included so generally on campus housing can cost 800 dollars or maybe in in some other states it could be 600 but generally 800 dollars to one thousand dollars that is like seventy thousand rupees per month in america and india like five seven thousand rupees per month is a huge difference and now talking about food expenses oh my god the mess food is super super cheap but it could be complimentary in that seven thousand rupees as i mean i've got the idea but here it's like two thousand dollar per semester so just think about it so matlab 4 mahine ka ek semester hota so in the 4 months semester 2000 dollar could be food expenses so 500 dollars goes to food every month oh my god so that's why i never got the meal plan and i am cooking food or sometimes eating from subway or sometimes eating out so i'm mostly cooking food so that's why i'm saving money and right now i'm paying 400 dollars for this apartment and maybe khane vagare mein 200 dollars so i am spending like 600 dollars because like this is living room but other students spend 600 dollars per month off campus and spend 200 to 300 so itna kharcha hota hai <laughs> so number 3 point is about roommates and friends and about discipline kyunki india mein i have seen i got pretty annoyed jab main matlab room share kar raha tha apne friends ke sath so it gets annoying if there are like two to three roommates in the same apartment because let's say aapko ek call aati hai let's say you get a call from your friend and you will they generally like the rule should be you should come out of the apartment and then take the call because if the other student is studying use padhne dena chahiye so the other student who is studying he should be allowed to study and you should come out but that doesn't happen so it is less of discipline that i have seen but here in america even though i'm living in living room i go to the balcony to take the call even my friend he goes to the balcony he makes sure that there is silence maintained so they are very disciplined and even jab main on campus jata tha na i had a roommate from japan so it was so much fun he was very very disciplined he used to come at 3 am every day and i used to sleep at 9 10 pm but he didn't turn a single light matlab light tak nahi on karta tha aur he used to take care about my sleep and wo chup ke se matlab torch use karke he used to lie down on his bed and i was i was matlab main mujhe pata bhi nahi chalta tha i never got to know that he is he has come and i still continued sleeping <laughs> number four about drugs and alcohol culture so if you want to bring alcohol matlab sharab wagaira if you want to bring alcohol to your apartment you have to be 21 above agar aap 21 nahi ho if you are not 21 above and if you get caught you can be uh, expelled from the housing and also from the school if the housing is owned by the school so it's very risky so do not do that and aapko apartment mein nahi reh sakte if the roommate is less than 21 then also you cannot bring uh, alcohol to your apartment so that these rules are amazing but but exceptions are there i have seen 
some students somehow like they may bring drugs and not get caught and if, if you if you have seen like this video this video actually I shared like I had a bad experience with drugs one roommate so you can check that out as well so there could be exceptions but now talking about in India so India may be the same like drugs and alcohol is not allowed but there's a sutta shop there could be a sutta shop as I saw from Harkirat's video and IIT so there could be a sutta, a sutta shop uh, nearby so if you go there you can drink alcohol sutta whatever you want to cigarette etc and come back it, it's okay but you cannot bring it to your campus so the rules are similar but exceptions are there and many personally pe, matlab, drug culture dekha. the drug culture is very very common in some apartments some I don't want to name any apartments I just walk in the corridor oh my god I smell weed sometimes like sometimes I don't want to tell it my friends have also experienced that but don't tell this to anyone <laughs> So now number five, girls and boys policy. If you have girls or boys ko saath mein group study karna hai, kuch bhi karna hai, they are allowed here because most of the hostels, most of the dorms here are matlab, uh, co-ed. So like both 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 can uh, stay together. Even you can have girl as a roommate. So that's pretty unique. If you have an application in the application, if you write down that you're okay with roommate from any gender then you can have roommate of any gender and also in my second year i had a girl as a roommate so it was it was okay because like she had separate room my other roommate had separate room and i was in the living room so it wasn't bad so it was convenient so but now in india 99 percent of the hostels are only boys or only girls there are like some hostels in some universities like uh, i cannot take the name but there are some universities there but they allow girls and boys so, I mean, hostels are separate, but if a girl wants to do group study with a boy, like if, he, if she wants to come in, she can. But the policy is the door should remain open outside. I don't know if they follow it properly on or not, but this is the policy. If the girl is in the boy's hostel or a boy is in the girl's hostel. So, this is the policy. So now the next point is about power cut. So in India, mein jab bhi light chale jati hai, whenever there's a power cut, like hooting happens immediately. Matlab, matlab log chillane jate hai, balcony mein jate hai. Wow, it, it's a fun experience. But here, <laughs> there was power cut only one time in the last three years that I experienced because of lightning, tornado warning, etc. So uske garden, there was lights off. I mean, power cut hua tha sirf five minutes ke liye, only for five minutes. And at that time, I went to the balcony and people were with, with lights. Oh, what's happening? And by the time I was thinking ki light kab when, when will the when will like lights be on again? And usi time mein, matlab, power cut, matlab, light aavi gai. So within five minutes, lights aagi and it was a fun experience. <laughs> Now number seven, this is the point that you are waiting for this point. So you must be waiting for this most important difference is about relationships. So I have seen, oh my god, many relationships. Sometimes if someone is passing from the corridor, he's usually usually talking about breakup. Oh, this is my first time dating. Should I go or not? Oh, I had a breakup with him. These conversations are so, so common. But in India, I mean, like this is very, very rare, extremely rare. So like, Many of you asked me about bang bang, so I think this have this answers. Some people asked me about this is like a vegetarian content, but you you guys DM me with a bang bang, ding dong. I mean some other terms that I didn't know, so I still don't know about these terms. But you can explain me later on. <laughs> So now the next point is about group study because in India or America mein ho, whenever there is a friend, a close friend teaches you, you learn better or quickly as compared to a professor teaching you because he has faced the same problem. I mean, if a student is teaching you, then you know where you are struggling. Kar rahe ho. So it's like a little bit faster in understanding and you can pretty much complete your syllabus in few hours rather than weeks. So it's quite convenient. Hota hai. So like we also do group study. I mean, in on-campus housing or off-campus housing, we have like group study areas here and there. So we can study, we can reserve rooms in the library. So we do group study and there's no difference in that. It's pretty much the same way. But here the difference is girls and boys can group study conveniently here. But there it might be difficult in dorm rooms. So hi Lauren, can you please share about your best and worst experiences in American hostel or you can call it dorm? Yeah. Okay, so my worst experience in the dorm was basically just the community bathrooms. So the dorm that I lived in was literally a shoe box. So it was about this big and all there were were two bunk beds. And then if you ever wanted to go to the bathroom, you had to put on some kind of shoes and walk all the way down the hall wow. and use a community bathroom that was basically just like three bathroom stalls and then a bunch of showers. 
Um, and if you if you wanted to take a shower, you had to wear flip flops. Wow. So I didn't take a shower without shoes for like a year. So that was like probably the grossest thing, like wow. the worst the worst thing. Uh -huh. And then let's see, my best experience was probably it's kind of funny so um me and my friends we had just gone out in downtown athens and we got back to our dorm room and in athens they have a place called insomnia cookies mm -hmm. and they deliver until four o'clock in the morning and so me and all my friends we ordered and i bought them of course i bought them so um we bought like 40 dollars worth of like cookies and milk and stuff and then we all fell asleep in my dorm room wow. and they had called me like a bunch of times to try and like give us the cookies and stuff and I never got them. And of course I never got a refund. So I lost like $40 on cookies because we all fell asleep. Oh my God. Yeah, and we were all like packed in like little sausages in there because <laughs> because it was tiny. And we had like, like six people in there. So we had a couple people in each of these like twin twin beds and then people all on the floor, so. Wow, pretty exactly. interesting. And <laughs> something, uh, the one you told about community restrooms, that happens all the way in every, every every dorm in India. But when I came to dorms in US, I mean, I never faced that problem because yeah. I had restrooms over there. Yeah, yeah. I know I stayed, they have uh -huh. like nice. Yep. But nope, I lived in the community bath. I did the community bathroom thing for a while. And uh -huh. yeah, so thank you gross. so much, <laughs> Lauren. And make sure you yeah. subscribe to her channel. It'll oh, be linked thank here. You. And thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. So these are the few differences. I hope you like this video. And remember to subscribe to Lauren's channel as well. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.